Hello everyone and welcome to episode 26 of my shiny series. Today is all about Timmins moving. Now, um, this was a really good album. I had fun listening to it. First and foremost, yay for the length. I love long albums and Timmin always delivers. This one was so long, it made me so happy. As soon as I saw the track list, I knew I was going to have a great time. There were a couple of growers here and there, but it's much more so a thing where I like the songs, but I'm not crazy about them. They're cute little bops, but I don't replay them as much as I do some of the other songs on the album. But for the most part, I enjoyed myself a lot. This album for me is definitely like a turning point in this whole um, team in discography. Uh, how can I put this journey? Because I was already impressed by Timmin as an artist, but up to this point, I feel like I didn't even realize the depth of talent that he possesses. And this album definitely proves that. I was so impressed. This is the type of project that really separates the good from the great. It's just such a great album. It's so good. It showcases so many different sides of himself within the album. I feel like Tamin has a natural sensuality about it, but everything about him it feels so expensive, so classy, like high end, and it really delivered that classy sensuality with this album. I feel like it's very seductive. It's really nice, and the songs are really interesting. The energy is there. The vocals are there, and every time a song starts, you just get lost in that moment. It's like every single song is an experience. It's definitely the type of album that you just want to close your eyes and enjoy. I bet the performances that came out of this album are insane. And I can't wait to be done with the discography to just go and dive into that because, oh, Every time I was listening to a song, I was just imagining what the stage will look like. And I felt like when it comes to Timmin, every single part of himself is a reflection of his artistry. Because it's like the music that he makes somehow is so him. And it encompasses every single aspect the dancer in him, the singer in him, all of that is reflected in the type of music that he makes. So when you listen to a Timmin song, it's like you consume the the song, the vocals, the lyrics, and your idea of what the stage is going to look like. Though I even make sense. Hopefully I do. But that's what I think... Um, about Timmy's music. It's like every single song, I can envision how he would do like a stage and everything. And I bet you, whatever the stage look like is even a, t a thousand times better than what I imagined. I just love this experience that is listening to Timmy's music. Now, in terms of my personal favorites in this album, I have three of them. Number three is Rise. <laughs> Let's 
favorite this song is so powerful i was not expecting this song from this album but as soon as it started playing it felt like it was always meant to be here <laughs> i love listening to timmy's music just because it's always an experience it's always just a surprise for me anyway it's like Every single time I forget how amazing it is. And then I listen to a song of his and I realize just how great Damien is as an artist. And I'm really loving the music. It's really good. Number two is Move. Move. <laughs> 나를 벗어나지 못해 나른해진 이 순간 잘빛은 머리가 헝클어질수록 아름다워 내버려둬 어, 어. 반듯한 자세가 흐트러진데도 괜찮은 날 똑바로 봐 oh yeah. 어두운 조명 아 Can't 
That was my second favorite song on this album. Now, Move is such a great song. Um, this one really is a perfect example of what I meant when I say that Timmy's music feels so expensive. Like, this is the song. This feels so central, so beautiful. And so expensive at the same time. It's like when he was making the song, he had already in mind what type of choreography will go with that. Like, I don't know how. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not even how the whole song came together. But that's how it feels. It does feel like this was meant to be performed. It's just so beautiful. It's so good. And... Uh, Timmy never ceases to amaze me. Now, my favorite song in the album is Back to You. Back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Just miss you 
My favorite song in this album. This is so beautiful. The vocals. Oh, simplicity sometimes works best because at the end of the day, this is just like a guitar and timing. And oh my God, the impact, the emotions, the lyrics. The song just hits different. And for me, that's the best one in the album. I love Central Timmin. I love Timmin, the performer, but I think this is my favorite type of Timmin. This one felt vulnerable. This one felt dedicated and oh, it hits. It hits so hard. Like the impact is insane. It's a type of song that has such a strong after effect. The song will be over and you will still have all those feelings that you had while listening to the song lingering. Let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which song ended up being your favorite. And if you want more, check out Shiny's dedicated playlist on the channel. That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe.